offering to that supreme divinity. That's called yajna. Offering. Offering is the main thing about yajna, about puja. In ninth chapter also Bhagavan says, whatever you do, whatever you do japa and puja and whatever, you tad arpanam, you offer it to me. Purushva madarpanam. So yajna is a sadhana wherein we offer to that supreme reality in the form of not only that transcendental, but also in the form of this world. How exactly that we will see later. Then tapaha. Tapa is, a, is conserving the powers of our body, our mind, our senses and directing again all these powers towards the Supreme. Tapas. Ekagram tapa uchyate. Tapas is focus. Focusing all our energy and power towards one sublime goal. That's called tapas. Without that tapas, also our sadhana don't move forward properly. Our energies get dissipated in so many different channels. So if we can focus all our emotional, intellectual, sensual, physical, all our energies, if they are focused towards my sublime goal, it will be able, to, one will be able to attain it more easily and quickly. Tapas it is called. Even uh, Parvati ji, I told last time also, she did tapas to attain Lord Shiva. She focused all her energy towards it. And then fourth is Danam. Danam is sharing whatever I have with the world around me. Sharing. So, Yadnya Dana Tapak Karma Na Tyajyam Karya Meva Hitata. In 18th chapter also, Bhagavan will talk about this. Yadnya Dana Tapa. So, Ahar is input and Yadnya Dana Tapa is like our output. This sadhana, if we do, Amara beda par ho jayega. Yadnya dana tapak karma. It's very beautiful. So, ahar, yadnya dana tapa, if they become sattvic from tamasic, suppose they are tamasic from tamasic, we should raise them to the level of Rajasik and from Rajasik make it Sattvic. Sattvic Ahar, Sattvic Yadnya, Sattvic Dana and Sattvic Tapas you do reach the ultimate goal. So therefore it's a very beautiful, finally Bhagavan had to give us formula. So he has given us the formula here. So Ahar Astvapi Sarvasya Trivido Bhavati Priyaha. So there are three types of Ahar which is, is liked by these three types of people, Rajasik, Tamasik, Sattvic. Then also there is three types of Yajna, three types of Tapas and three types of Dana, Tesham, Bhedam, Imam, Shruno. Bhagavan says, now you hear the Bheda, the difference. So let us now come to Ahar. First Bhagavan mentions Sattvic Ahar. So the eighth verse. Ayu sattva bala rogya Sukha priti vivardhana Rasya snigdhastira hridya Ahara sattvika priya Ayu sattva bala rogya sukha priti vivardhana Ahara 
सात्विक प्रिया दोज हू आर सात्विक दे लाइक दिस टाइप ऑफ आहार दिस वेरी इम्पॉर्टंट थिंग टू अंडरस्टैंड हाँ दैट दोज हू आर सात्विक दे लाइक दिस आहार नॉट दैट दोज हू ईट दिस आहार दे बिकम सात्विक हाँ सम पीपल से हो आई एम वेरी स्ट्रिक्ट वेजिटेरियन एंड ऑल सो आई मस्ट बी वेरी नाइस पर्सन दे इज नो गैरेंटी वेजिटेरियंस कैन बी वेरी डेंजरस ऑल्सो एंड नॉन वेजिटेरियन मे बी गुड ऑल्सो सो जस्ट बिकॉज माई आहार इज समथिंग वेरी नाइस मंकीज ऑल्सो दे हैव वेजिटेरियन आहार बट दे आर वेरी रेस्टलेस सो इट इज सेट दैट डोज हू आर सात्विक दे हैव नेचुरल फॉन्डनेस लाइकिंग फॉर दिस टाइप ऑफ आहार यार आवर स्क्रिप्चर्स डोंट डिवाइड फूड एज वेजिटेरियन नॉन वेजिटेरियन बिकॉज दैट इज अ नॉट अ वेरी साइंटिफिक डिविजन बिकॉज ऑल फूड आर लाइफ ओनली ऑल फूड आर लाइफ यू डोंट ईट स्टोन्स सो द फूड इज डिवाइडेड एज सात्विक राजसिक तामसिक सो सात्विक फूड इज दैट भगवान से इज विच गिवस आ यू हू ऑल दिस विवर्धना दे इनक्रीज दे गिव वॉट आ यू हू दस टाइप ऑफ फूड विच इनक्रीजिज अवर लाइफ स्पैन गुड फॉर लाइफ नॉट रिड्यूसिज अवर लाइफ Sometimes they say they give do research and all. If you do so much of drinking or smoking and all, it will reduce this much and, uh, years from your life and all. But this is not like that. This vivardhana it increases the life span. It it gives rejuvenates the different organs and parts of our body. It gives life. It gives energy. That type of food. here bhagwan is not exactly telling you have vegetables or this uh, uh, what do you call the sprouted this and all those he has not mentioned any that type of thing may okay? because it might change in in different periods of time things might change and this is a universal scripture it should be applicable for all times so we have to find out at present what are the things which will help me my body to sustain ayuhu ayu vivardhana then also it should be uh, what you call uh, it should have food value in it sattva it should have the value which is which is useful for my body no sometimes people keep on eating which the body doesn't want lot of the food which we eat the body doesn't want so it is a extra bodge for the body to take it then to go through the whole process and then to throw it away extra kaam sharir ko kaam ka baithe baithe and everyone has to function the liver the kidneys the this that i don't know what are the various things which they have to unnecessarily do the job then so it should be sattva it should have some uh, substance in it which is useful for the body then it should also help in increasing the strength bala strength not that you eat and you become weak but that whatever we eat should make our body strong then it should also be healthy it should give health arogya see our food itself is our medicine food itself is medicine because food is like medicine for the body ne body is maintained because of food so different types of food which we take of different taste and different uh, texture and all the food which we take it it helps in maintaining the health good health of the body so arogya then sukha the food should also give me happiness that is very important the food also should give me happiness and i should eat also with happiness 
Many people, they look at the food and they eat with such a kadwa face that the food, when it enters their body, the food also is, doesn't assimilate with the body because it is not, it has not been accepted with joy, with love. Sometimes we look at it, pata nahi kitna usme carbohydrate hai, kitna ye hai, kitna wo hai, calories hai. And with a, such an angry look, we eat that. The poor food also feels so suffocated and all. Pata nahi mein iske moh mein kyo ja raha hoon. If he doesn't want, doesn't like, why is he taking this? So that type of attitude towards the food, because food becomes our body. It becomes our mind. So that attitude with which we eat, it goes into our head, it, it remains there. If we eat with condemning attitude, it, that condemnation will enter our system. And it will show in our health also. Hmm. So that sukha is very important. Sukh se, prem se khao, khushi se khao. And preeti with love, it should also increase love in our heart. So whatever food we eat, it should generate more love in our heart. Also we should eat with full love. So that food which gives more, I mean increases our lifespan, which is substantial, which gives strength, which improves our health, which improves our happiness and love, or which is consumed with a lot of happiness and love, and rasyaha, rasya means which is rasa yukta, not sukha sukha. Rasa hona, usme it should have rasa. Then snigdhaha, snigdha means chikna, what you call thoda ghee and all. Stira, stira means again it should be sustaining. Not that we eat and the, immediately the food disappears. The food which we consume, it's all its uh, ingredient essence should remain in the body, sustained in the body. In the sense, the essence should uh, help the body and it should remain sustained in the body. Stira, it is called. Then Vidyaha, it should be pleasing to our heart pleasing. Such aharaha sattvika priyaha. Bhagavan says those who are sattvik, they like such ahar. So from what type of food I like, I can infer what is my uh, gunas, whether I am sattvik, rajasik, tamasik. Now what is said here about food, I, as I said, it is applicable for all consumption, whatever you take. Even what we hear, what we hear, it should be enhancing our life. It should have some substance. It should give us strength, not weaken us. If we hear and we in, interact with people and it makes us weak, then there is something wrong. Some, some, some type of people, some company and all, they drain our energy. After even five minutes with them, you feel totally tired. <sighs> Please, maaf karo mirko. They drain your energy. So that type of food we should not eat. That food which gives us strength, that company which gives us strength, the books which we gives us strength, the activities and the whatever input we get, it should give us strength. As Swami Vivekananda used to say that our religion and our scriptures gives us strength. They don't make us weak. If it makes you weak, then you discard that. That is not good for you. It should give you strength, not this tamasic, rajasic strength, but divine strength. Strength which comes from uh, what you call uh, uh, devoid of desires and devoid of attachment, the divine strength. We feel strong from within. Get great strength to face any challenges of this world. Such strength one gets from the right input. <coughs> Even Arjuna, he was being fed by Bhagwan 
all this Bhagavad Gita is like feeding Arjuna. He was fallen down there. He said, I don't want to fight. Then he got that strength. He got up. And he said, yes, I will fight. Karishye vachanantava. So it should give us bala. It should be healthy. Whatever we eat, it should be healthy not only to our body. It should be healthy to our mind. There are certain inputs which might weaken, which might destroy our mind. But we should take that input which is healthy to the mind, to the intellect. So, arogya, then sukha, it should give us joy. All inputs should give us joy. Because that which doesn't give us joy is, is tamasik or rajasik. Tulsidas Ji says that Swanta Sukhaya Tulasi Raghunatha Gatha. He says, I am singing the glories of the Lord because it gives me joy. So it should give us joy. It should increase the love in our heart, the input, whatever be. If I'm looking at the flower, it improves my happiness and it increases the love in my heart, then it is good input. If reading some books or watching some program or going to some parties, or if it improves, then it is sattvic. If it drains you, ah, then it is rajasic or tamasic. Generally, parties are there which drains the person of his wealth also and of his energy and everything. So, sukha, preeti, vivardhanaha, rasyaha, it should be it should have, it should not be sukha. So whatever input should be uh, moist with that uh, love and tenderness in them. Mm. They should have their softness and they should be subst substantial, sustaining, stiraha, pleasing to the heart. Such input, Bhagavan says, are sattvic. Sattvic a priya, sattvic person likes it. But even if we don't like it, we should cultivate the liking. See, there are certain food which many people, they say, oh, we should develop taste for it, you know, you should develop taste for it. And when you develop taste, then you start liking. Similarly, even if we don't like such sattvic thing, we should develop taste for it. You may not like to listen to Bhagavad Gita and all so much, but you should develop taste for it. You may not like to read or to attend satsang or something which gives us positive energy and all, but we have to develop taste for it. So that is what is called sattvic ahar, which is liked by sattvic people. So this is our first step in our sadhana, positive sattvic input. And avoid the negative rajasic and tamasic input that we will see in our class tomorrow.